fuck. How much fucking longer is this gonna go on for? I haven't had enough yet. I want to speak with your manager, pal. What the fuck are you torturing me for? Information? Talk to me! For my wife, Mara. And my beautiful two children, Amy and Cody. I don't know who the fuck those people are. You think I killed them? They depended on me, soldier boy. And what about it? I provided, as any man should. The galaxy is a rough and horrible place, but I gave them a roof over their heads, food for their bellies, clothes for their backs, everything I could. I shot you, on the Star Destroyer. As well as my buddy, who was working to pay for his mother's medicine. What do you think happened to our families, after you senselessly killed us? I, I didn't think- My wife couldn't pay for rent without my wages. So our landlord kicked her and my children out of the house, onto the streets of Coruscant. Apparently it didn't take very long for them to end up being kidnapped in the underworld and trafficked across the Outer Rim as... as slaves. Holy shit. I, I'm sorry. No, you aren't. But you will be. Knock, knock. Ah, oh, fuck. I think it's about time we finally get around to that chat I've been waiting 19 years for. What do you say? My son, my wife's boy, heir to the Tatooine dust settlers, was a hero. When Mos Eisley was under attack, all was lost. Our homes, our lives, but not his spirit. My boy spent his last moments in our world, fighting to save an innocent woman and her children. He was truly selfless in the end, just like his mother. He did us both proud. Very, very proud. I just wish he could have been the one standing here, talking about me in the same light instead. Mandalorian, what are we doing here? It looks like we're paying our respects. It's a funeral. Oh, on my planet, we put explosives in the corpses, not set them on fire. You what? Hey, be quiet. Oh, sorry. But I know selflessness isn't in my nature. He must have got that gene from her. Oh, my dear boy, rest for now. You were the greatest gift your mom left for me, and now you can be with her again. Until we meet again, my son. We didn't come all this way for this, did we? Well, we're gonna have a word with him, the leader of these bounty hunters. It sounds like the Necro Troopers killed his son in the attack on Moss Isley. Oh. Sorry for your loss. Thank you. Sorry for your loss. I'm sorry for your loss. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Why? Why would you leave me alone? We were supposed to be together. All of us. Can't I get a minute's peace? Excuse me, sorry. May we come in for a sec? Why not? Invite all your friends and family. 
We all know I have none left. I think that was sarcasm. Let me do the talking. No, not you. Get out. We just want to talk. About what? Last I remember, you killed two of my hunters, stole Soldier Boy, and brought those... things... to Moss Isley, where they killed my son. We're sorry for your loss! I don't want your pity, Pos God Flayed. Why are you with him anyway? We- I said I'd do the talking. We need your help. Uh... You're pushing your luck, Mandalorian. You don't even know my name. And you ask for my help? After disturbing my son's funeral. After you killed him. All right, I'm sorry, but... But what? Did you really think you could waltz in here, asking a mourning father to help his son's killer? And I just agree. Have you ever lost a son, Mandalorian? Have you? Do you have any idea of the grief? No. But if I don't act quickly and soon, I will. Good. Excuse me? You heard me. We know who did it, and where they are. We just need your help, to stop them for good. Well, I wish you good luck. You can get justice for your son. And lose the rest of my hunters. Absolutely not. You won't avenge your son. Get out. I'm really glad you did the talking, Mando. Be quiet. So what now? Hopefully he'll come around. You hope? We need numbers, and he has them. I was hoping he'd have a grudge too, but it seems his fear of losing more is greater than his will for revenge. I don't get what that means, but okay! Is there anyone else that can help? It's a long shot, but I have an idea. Oh my, a Mandalorian! And a Glissig, from the planet Neptera? That's right! Would you prefer to speak in your native tongue? Glorp glob zorpy zorp, pompy quet fi jarbaro! Harf, yow, dag flop soppy toppy, xlusvio! Balvarcio, drump gumpa glob draglin varp! Hmm, reg jolly pinonia glow up bop i jutsk! Globby plop! What in the galaxy are you two saying? Please stop! He's saying he won't help us. What? Why? I am terribly sorry, but General Leia doesn't take drop in meetings. Nor will she give you an army for no reason. What did you tell him? Almost everything! The New Republic does not care for silly Outer Rim nonsense. Surely the New Republic would care about an uprising of Empire remnants? They're still out there, Moff Lazarus and Moff Gideon. New Republic records state that all possible remnants were defeated and destroyed shortly after the victory at Endor. Well, your records are wrong, droid. They have a base on Paroxys Prime. They're building an army of necro-troopers, an almost invincible region of cyborgs. There are no military bases on Pyroxys Prime. It was declared too risky of an environment for any kind of structure due to the constant volcanic activity. There are no Imperial records of such a location. Therefore, I will take this matter no further. Do not waste New Republic time, please, and thank you. Good day. We were there! They sent the troopers to Moss Isley. It's destroyed. Let us talk to someone. Spreading such a rumor can result in consequence under New Republic law. Now, I said good day to you both. Dank Farrick, you've got to be kidding me. If this is the attitude of the people that are supposed to keep us safe, we're screwed. What are we supposed to do now? I don't know. It looks like Soldier Boy needs to hold on a little while longer. Ooh. Finally, I get to talk to you, soldier boy. What the actual fuck? Where do we start? I mean, how have you been? Have you found out it's been 19 years since you fell yet? Oh, wow. I just would have loved to see your face. What in the actual fuck is the point of all of this? Evolution, my friend. Evolution. Evolution. Right. You think I am lying? You want to know what I think? I think you're coming up with all this bullshit to excuse the fact you want to torture, kill, and control people. That's what I think. <laughs> On the contrary, my friend. It is just what they call uh, a necessary evil. Necessary evil? My ass! Let me explain! Yeah, sure. Hit me with more of your bullshit. If it were not for me, you would still be dead. 
So fucking what? That was your choice. You owe me your life! The fuck I do! You're a motherfucking freak. I should put you in the ground for what you did to Silence! Me. You dare speak to Lazarus this way! If he's such a great fucking guy, why didn't he bring your wife and kids back to life, huh? Shut up! Alright, that's enough. Hey! That's it! Uh, some fucking company you keep. I could say the same to you. But I don't want bad blood between us, Ben. How about we continue our conversation elsewhere? A change of scenery might help? Ugh. Don't you worry about him. He'll wake up again. Soon, maybe. How about we get you cleaned up? I'd like that. I've got a couple days worth of blood and sweat stained in this rag. Good. Come with me, then. Threats and beatings aren't going to work, clearly. I'll have to try something else. Oh, Tatooine. Your night sky still stands to amaze me. Despite everything. Quinvess, a word. Speaking. What is it that you want from me? Is it too much for me to have just a few minutes alone? I did want to give you my condolences, Quinn. But knowing you, I doubt you'd want to hear them. Then you know me far better than most of them in there. I'm actually here on their behalf. Dank Ferrick, what is it now? Earlier, I overheard your conversation with Puscod and the Mandalorian. And, uh, it appears that someone has spread the word around that you don't want to let us avenge Jex and everyone who died at Mos Eisley. You're spreading rumors. It's only for your own good. We can do something about this, Quinn. I'm not sending my hunters to their death because some scum killed my boy. It won't bring him back. What's it to you, anyway? I was close to your wife, Quinn. We fought in the rebellion together. I helped her through her pregnancy. I was there when the TIE fighters bombed our base and we found her corpse. While you were off chasing credits, I loved your wife like a sister and your boy like a son. She would be so disappointed if she saw you now. Disappointed? Yes, she would be disgraced. We fought against the Empire so evil like that could never return. So it wouldn't hurt our children and their children after that. What we saw in Moss Eisley. What killed your son. Is that same evil trying to return, rising again? We cannot let that happen. Your wife didn't give her life to destroy the Empire, only for something worse to come in its place. You leave Jex out of this. Jex is why your dust settlers are rallying together in the first place. This is your opportunity to make something right of his wrongful death. You've never been a hero, Quinn, but now is your chance to complete Kara's mission, to make something of yourself, to avenge Jex. You really think I can do that? I wouldn't be out here talking to the grumpiest man in the galaxy if I didn't think so. Scrap it. All right, we'll do it. I'm glad to hear that, truly. Get in contact with the Mandalorian. Bring him here. I already have. What? Have you calculated the coordinates yet? Oh, Moff Gideon, what a surprise. No, it isn't. Answer the question. Uh, well, I was pretty confused at it. Can I ask why you need these coordinates? No. Well, it's just a very random thing to ask. Why would anyone need to know where a specific hangar was in space 19 years ago? I need to know. And that's all you need to know. And if you don't share your calculations, I will get these troopers to blast you. Whoa, oh, okay, okay, here's the data disk. That wasn't so hard, now was it? Now I need to pass a message to every Shadow Council member, excluding Lazarus. 
excluding Lazarus? Good. You heard me. Tell them to get off world as soon as possible. The situation on Paroxys is going to change significantly and soon. Leave any trace of the Necro Troopers behind and evacuate all of your troopers. The problem we know as Lazarus will no longer be a problem in the very near future. What, what does that mean? Don't you worry about that. How in the fuck am I gonna get out of here? Could really do with Barack coming back right about now. I wonder where he is anyway. <laughs> you look better. <laughs> I haven't seen you that clean for a long time. Can we just cut to the chase? What do you want me for exactly? Why this stupid fucking game? I'm your enemy. Why haven't you just killed me already? No, no, no. We aren't enemies, Ben. Even after all this time, I still think that. You do? Of course. Your reaction to everything was only natural. You killed 54 stormtroopers when you broke out of the Bacta tank and escaped to Tatooine. Strength like that is extraordinary. I impressed you? And well before that. The records I read of your time before you met your untimely death were extremely impressive. So you want to fucking use me, don't you? Like everyone else in my godforsaken damn life has. Of course I want to utilize your skills as a soldier. But there's something inside you itching to come out. And I want to give you the chance to let it shine. The forgotten hero. Lost in time. Across the stars. The soul of a soldier stood strong, despite his unfortunate fate on worlds he doesn't belong. He made the call to save it all. What the hell are you saying? You know the darkness of this galaxy, soldier boy. Chaos, endless betrayal, starvation, slavery. This universe needs order, don't you agree? It's pretty fucked up here, yeah. But what were you just saying? You can join me, soldier boy. I gave you a second chance, not just at life, but to be a true hero. You ain't got the damnedest idea of what being a hero is, pal. A hero doesn't chop up dead people and stuff what's left into a goddamn metal suit just to mind control and kill whoever the fuck you please. My necro troopers are simply a means to an end, I assure you. Bullshit. What was all that crap about evolution then? A slip of the tongue. Keep lying to me and I'll crush your windpipe and you know I can do it. I just needed you to lead the Necro Troopers under my new order. You are the perfect specimen. Your DNA is otherworldly, a perfect mix. I've never seen anything like it in my entire life. As well as your experiences, you are the only person I've ever truly wanted to be at my side. Did this dick ride and speech work for the other guy? Because it sure as shit won't work on me. No! Please, don't you want to be a hero? Get the fuck back from me! They'll sing songs about you. You'll finally be able to make a good change to the world. Please, don't you want this? Of course I do. But not if I have to do it with you. I'd wait a thousand more years, hell, even a million. If it meant I could be my own kind of hero. Not whatever monster you think I should be. But uh, what's wrong with me? You could have done so much with your talent, Lazarus but you wasted it on your creepy ass, barely disguised fetish. You've done more harm than good, and I know you'll do worse if your new empire took power. You're a fucking disappointment. <laughs> a disappointment, he says. Now why in the galaxy would I want to make you proud? You're mine. Excuse me? You're mine! I don't need your approval! I'm sorry, I must have misheard you. Because did you just fucking say I'm yours? Like I'm one of your piece of shit robots? You want me to say it again? I brought you back from the grave. I rebuilt you. 
I made you stronger than you've ever been before. You are mine. You owe me an unpayable debt. Everyone else has accepted it. Why can't you? I think you broke my ribs. Let me tell you why I won't accept it like everyone else. Because I am not like anyone else. I am soldier boy. And I can do whatever the fuck I want to whoever the fuck I want. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. You should have left me dead on that Star Destroyer, Lazarus. You would have done both of us a favor. I'm starting to see that. Ugh. You are one twisted and conniving little fuck, you know that? All those people you're torturing every single day. I can end the program. I can shut them all down. They'll die for good. Please, don't hurt me. Ben! How the fuck does everyone know my damn name? I'm sick of hearing it. All right, soldier boy. I promise I can end it all. Please, just don't kill me. Why? Are you afraid to end up like one of your troopers? <laughs> wow, I never thought I'd see the day. Shit. Lazarus is finally dead. Not by my direct hand, but maybe I can still do something to ruin his life. You said something about him being frightened of becoming a necro trooper. That's a poetic idea, soldier boy. Whoa, what the hell? Take it easy, I'm still on your side. So, uh, what's the plan now? The Mandalorian and Puss God have managed to conjure up some forces. They're about to arrive any minute now. They're here to rescue you, I imagine. But you've already sorted that part out yourself. All that's left is to destroy the factory and all of the Necro Troopers here. How are they gonna do that? I may have leaked some information to the Tatooine dust settlers. Because of this planet's environment, the volcanoes are prone to destructive eruptions. And guess where Lazarus decided to build this nightmare? Ha! Huh, inside a fucking volcano! A dormant one. However, eruption can be triggered via a large force of energy. Like, a Star Destroyer-sized force of energy. Holy shit, you want us to crash it into the fucking volcano? Only after you take down the shields. Lazarus was stupid, but he wasn't dumb. The shields protect the volcano and the factory. You'll need to take them down first. Damn, you really thought this all the way through, didn't you? I knew I'd only have one shot at this, and you came in at the perfect time. It's now or never, soldier boy. Settlers, are you all ready? We've still got more coming through hyperspace. It looks like the Star Destroyer has noticed us. Um, that's all right. We'll dogfight through their first defense and split into three teams as planned. Check in. Air Battle Squad. Check. Star Destroyer team. Check. And ground team. Check. Let's do this. What? We're under attack! Tank Ferric! I need to get up there! This is really bad. Where's Lazarus? They're targeting the Star Destroyer. If they're gonna try to hijack it, they'll have to get through me first. Oh my god, we're hit! Oh, we're not out yet! Job. There's more where that came from. Mando, you can't waste your time up here. That's our job. Get on the ground and disable those shields. She's right. I need to get aboard that Star Destroyer too. Okay. Stay safe for a few more minutes, buddy. I'm coming. I can't get in there with all of this chaos. Say no more. Nice one. I'm going in. 
No, they're getting inside already. When we get in there, Fish, you know where we're going? I have a rough idea. You go to the prison block and I'll go to the shield generator. All right. Dust settlers! Yesterday we were cave dwelling credit chasers, but today we become heroes. Come on! Alright, Fish, don't forget the procedure. Keeping comms quick in and out job. And if we find Soldier Boy, make sure he comes back to this hangar. Yeah, I got it. Oh, and Fish. Yeah? Keep safe. You too. Come on, it's not far to the bridge now. Hey! It's you. I've been waiting for this. Beginning the awakening procedure. Welcome back to the world, Lazarus. What is this? I feel... Oh, it hurts. Where am I? What happened, soldier boy? Not quite. Gideon, oh, oh. what's happened to me? It's what they call poetic justice. What? What do you mean? I want you to take a long, hard look at yourself, Lazarus. What? No! No, no, no! What did you do to me? A second chance, as you like to say. What's the matter? Isn't being one of your necro troopers a gift? The pinnacle of evolution? No! No, no, no! This can't be real! No! I finally beat you, Lazarus, after all of these damn years putting up with your shit! Why? I knew you hated me, but not like this! You're gonna destroy everything I've built! Everything I stood for! I've always known who you truly are, Lazarus. And it's how you'll be remembered. Your pathetically failed insurgency and your monstrous creations. However, my part in your destruction has already been covered up. I've won the battle and the war. Where do you think you're going? I'm gonna kill you, Gideon! I'm going to seek my fortune. You can just stay there and think about your miserable little existence for the minutes you have left. No! Gideon, come back! You can't leave me like this! Gideon! This place is huge! Where is this thing supposed to be? And where on Glob is everyone? I swear there were stormtroopers everywhere last time. God damn it, I hate this fucking place. Huh? I know that voice. Who designed this fucking base? Soldier Boy! Fucking Christ, fish! Yeah, it's me! I'm here to rescue you! Uh, thanks? Okay, that's job number one done. Now, we just need to destroy the shield generator. Right, Gideon told me about that. I think I know where it is. Thank Glob, this place is a maze! Tell me about it. Wait, what the fuck? What's wrong? Time to run? Yes. I hope you know where you're going. Me too. Down there. I think that's it. Oh. Damn. That was too much. My bad, boss. You pitiful band of bounty hunters. What is the point of this? You murdered my son. I'm not letting you do that to any more fathers. I couldn't care less about your... <laughs> what? Looks like the fish was right. Ion blasters work like a charm. Oh, no. How could Lazarus forget such a flaw? Stay right there. We're turning this ship around. I won't let you. <laughs> oh, yes, you will. Oh, Glob! The door is locked! Shit, have you got bombs? Yeah, but not enough for both the door and the generator. Fuck! They're coming! Cover me while I pry this piece of shit open. You can do that! Hell yeah, I can! Start shooting! All right! Eat this, weirdos! I got one! Keep going! They're shooting back! Then shoot at them harder! I've almost got the door! My gun's about to overheat! Hurry! Oh, Glob. No! Oh, no! Fish! Don't look at me! Open the door! Fuck! Fuck! Open, you piece of shit! Open! No! I got it! Fish! Come on! I... 
I don't think I can. Come on, soldier. We ain't out of this yet. That's it! Go back to hell! Soldier boy, look. Fish, get inside! Jesus, how many times did they hit you? A couple. Nothing we can't fix, right? Have you got some of that Bacta spray in your bag? <laughs> if you think Bacta spray is gonna fix all this, then you got a lot of things to learn about our galaxy. Then we'll put you in one of those tanks. Give me the bombs, and I'll stick them on the generator. After you do that, go to the hangar. The Mandalorian will be waiting for you. For us. You're coming with me, buddy. I'll only slow you down. I'm not making it off this planet, soldier boy. Not like this. Fuck you. In all my life, I've been betrayed and forgotten by everyone I called a friend. You're the only person that's given more than half a fuck about me. I'm not letting you die here. How will you get back out of this room? And someone needs to press the detonator. So what are you suggesting? Use me as bait. Get the necro troopers in here so you can sneak out. Then run like hell back to the hangar. You'd do that? For me? I owe you my life. And I want to make something out of it. This would give my death meaning. A great honor. I know you know this is the only way. Yeah. Fish. You're... You're a hero. I know. Hey! Creepy cyborgs! Come and get me! I'm standing right here! Come on! Just a little closer! You're okay, buddy. Don't worry. Puss God, did you do it? I heard the explosion. Are the shields down? Puss God, you read me? Yeah, the fish did it. Soldier boy, is that you? Yeah, I'm coming to the hangar now. Get ready for liftoff. Well, wait, where's Puss God? I'll be there in like five minutes. See you soon. Dank Ferrick. God damn it. Motherfucking damn it. <laughs> what was that? Soldier boy, do you get it now? My necro troopers are perfect. Oh, come the fuck on. Despite your friend's ion weapons, they can only last so long against each wave of my troopers. What the hell happened to you? It happened! You're in cahoots and I'm gonna destroy you for it! Hate to break it to you, you fucking freak, but we're gonna be the ones to destroy you. No! All necro troopers, away from hibernation! Run from the factory as fast as you can! What? What the fuck did you just do? You can destroy my factory, Ben, but you're not destroying my army. They're mine. They accepted it, and I will protect them. You woke up all of them? <laughs> Mandalorian, tell the guys in the Star Destroyer to hurry. The Necro Troopers are going to start running away. <laughs> I'm on the bridge. Send me the coordinates. Here, and remember. We're aiming for the volcano. That'll set it off. Got it. What was that? They know what you're doing. I'll keep the ties off you. I can't let them do this. Come on, where are you? I'm here. Start the engine. Stop, or I will stop you from getting off of this ship. You can't threaten me with death, Necro Trooper. You already took my life when you killed my son. So go ahead, try to stop me. We're already dead men. Soldier boy, wait! What now? You can stop all of this! That's the plan. We can start over. Please don't let it end like this. It's already over, Lazarus. I'm not your monster anymore, and neither are those people. Please, give me a second chance like the one I gave you! Some people don't deserve second chances, Lazarus. And you're one of them. Time to go. Soldier boy! Soldier boy! Soldier boy, come up here. Look. 
Holy shit. It's over. It's really finally over. Yeah, it is. Thank you for coming back. I can't believe you did it. We, soldier boy, we did it. Surely this cannot be the place. Can I help you, sir? No, thank you. Actually, yes, you can. You see, I'm looking to extend my reach. And, uh, I would like to offer you a business opportunity. You look like someone that I can trust. All right, Mando. What have we got this time? Another simple tracking job with a new client. Although, there aren't many details on here. Uh, have you ever heard of a Televerse before? No idea, pal. Anyway, who's the client? They put themselves down as the Black Star. They wanted to meet here in the bar. Why is it always a fucking bar? Holy crap, it's actually true! Huh? That voice? What is it? He looks a little different, but that has to be him. Who? What am I supposed to be looking at, Barack? You really are as blind as a bat, George. Holy shit on a stick. There's no fucking way. Flash ain't no dude and you don't stop Sure shot, go out to the parking lot And you get in your car and you drive real far And you drive all night and you see a light Comes right down and lands on the ground And out comes a man from Mars And you try to run but he's got a gun And he shoots you dead and he beats your head And then you're in the man from Mars And you go out at night Eating cars, you eat Cadillacs Lincolns too, Mercury's and Subaru And you don't stop on eating cars then when there's no more cars you go out at night and eat up bars where the people meet face to face dance cheek to cheek one to one man to man dance toe to toe don't move too slow cause the man from mars is through with cars he's eating bars yeah wall to wall door to door hall to hall he's gonna eat them all rapture be pure take a tour through the sewer don't strain your brain paint a train you'll be singing in the rain that don't stop to punk rock. 